Hey everybody, Brian coming from Snag. Wanted to do a quick little video explaining how our recovery process works. We get asked all the time, how does your recovery system work if it's not an actual GPS unit? This is a great question. I want to make sure everybody understands it as well as possible. Snag's recovery process has been refined for more than 10 years of recovery development and successes with other pets and priceless possessions. Our system relies on the power of the World Wide Web and our partner relationships that scan pawn shop, FBI, and other database records worldwide. We've recovered more than a third of stolen property to date, which far exceeds the national and worldwide average of less than 1%. Snag's system does not rely on individual police or pawn shop employee knowledge. Pawn shops and secondhand shops are required by law to report any identifying information about every single item they purchase. While many pawn shops scan for and even promote and resell snag protection, there are some questionable pawn shops that are equally as important. This system allows police to walk into these shops, take an item off the shelf, and verify that it's been scammed through the proper databases to identify these stolen items. If they're not, the pawn shop would, could face fines or other licensing issues. These systems are constantly becoming more automated and this only increases Snag's effectiveness. These systems also automatically scan FBI databases to locate property that is recovered by any police department nationwide. They're actually required to enter any recovered property into the databases within 24 hours of recovery. As these databases locate items, even partial hits will trigger a hot list report to go out to the local police. This hot list report actually includes instructions to explain to take a pet scanner and scan the ID or obtain a scanner through Snag to go to the pawn shop and actually identify this item without a shadow of a doubt. The partial hits only may report certain information, the unalterable electronic ID hidden inside these items will provide the unalterable proof that the police need to actually confiscate the item and return it back to the rightful owner. No personal information of yours is ever released to a pawn shop or even to police for that matter. They have the systems in place to scan the ID, return the item back to the investigating officer, and hopefully prosecute the suspect. GPS requires battery and data usage rates. These are huge drawbacks. Snag is on the forefront of this technology and is currently developing a GPS unit. We hope to have a GPS unit available soon as the technology evolves to fit everybody's needs. However, a Snag RFID microchip will still be recommended as the main line of defense. If a GPS unit is removed, the unalterable proof of ID of ownership in that snag ID can be so well hidden that the item must be destroyed in, actually, in order to actually remove the snag ID. This for this reason, the snag ID in this chip is going to continue to be your main line of defense and your best option in today's market. I hope this clears up all the questions that you had. If you do have any other questions, feel free to contact us through our website. Otherwise, find us on Facebook and we'll be sure to answer your questions.